Well, the camera is far ahead of what you see in this video. I've actually even shot some portraits with it. I'll embed them at the end. The camera's also gone through a lot of changes. This plank is intended to be a, a track for the rear standard to make it floating. Uh, this is going to be my fine focus. The draw tracks I used for the front standard are going to be used to set the enlargement, but I'm not. it's going to be too inaccessible when looking through the ground glass to be able to fine focus your image. This threaded rod is going to work as a worm gear that's going to run through a hinging nut made out of hardwood. So far running the thread through the hardwood seems to be good and reliable. There's a problem with this focus system in that uh, it is actually way too fine and when you're sc scrolling through your focus it's so slow you can't even see the focus moving on the object you're intending to photograph. It worked, it was strong, it was reliable, but I'm going to replace it with a rack gear. Another mistake I made was not realizing that the film is actually going to have to be behind the rear standard so that you can insert and remove a dark side. Uh, what actually happened was I designed this to only just give me infinity focus and then I calculated with the film behind the rear standard, I was never going to get any infinity. More changes needed. Since making this, I've thrown that bellows in the bin, redone it, it's come out a lot better. Prop for the middle standard, you can see used in a lot of ultra large format cameras. This is like a, a ratchet gear to set the enlargement, and right now it's just dependent on the elasticity of the bellows to pull it back and keep it stable, which could be a problem if I were to aim the camera downward. I was, I was really pleased to see the first exposure get a result. Uh, thank you to Maurizio, who um, was so excited to see a negative come out of this camera, he had to produce a positive.